All right, so we're talking about networks. This time we're going to talk about something called a minimum spanning tree. And in particular, we're going to use something called Kruskal's algorithm. All right, we're going to need a weighted network to begin with. All right, so we have a weighted network here. And you, so you can see all of these numbers on all of these um, edges. Now, if we add all of those numbers up, we'll have something called the total weight of the graph. All right, so I'm not going to bother adding all of them up, but if I was to add them all up, I would know the total weight of that graph. Now, a minimum spanning tree, which is what this video is about, is creating a tree of this uh, graph that has the lowest possible weight. So if you were to try to do that now, pause the video and try it, it's a really hard thing to do. Now, I've got some ideas. Uh, for instance, there's a really long edge here. So maybe in my spanning tree, I won't want to use that really long edge. I don't know. Maybe I do. Um, now, there's a really short edge here that's only five long. So maybe in my minimum spanning tree, I would want to use that. Um, but they're just some ideas. What we have is a really nice algorithm, a series of steps called Kruskal's algorithm. So we're going to step through Kruskal's algorithm and come up with the minimum spanning tree for this network. So first step, draw the dots. And now we're going to get started. So first step of Kruskal's algorithm is identifying the smallest edge in the graph. Now, uh, there's a 5 here and a 5 here. So which one should I choose? It doesn't matter. You just pick it. Um, I'm going to pick this smallest edge here, A to D. And now I'm going to draw that edge on my graph here. Okay, great so far. Next up, I repeat that process. I say, right, there's a, uh, another one here that's five long. I'm going to draw that one together, C to E. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, now, next up, uh, I find the next smallest one. Oh, there's a six here. Okay, D to F. This is really easy. Uh, okay, a seven. All right, there's two sevens here. Um, I'm going to pick uh, one at random, because it doesn't matter which one I choose, and that's A to B. Great, seven. Uh, now, there's another seven there, so I'm going to use that one as well. Seven there. Uh, an eight. All right, now, be careful, because this is where Kruskal's algorithm starts. You need to start thinking a bit. Um, Okay, there's an 8 here. Okay, well, let's draw it in. This is a mistake. Don't do this. Wait a minute. This isn't a spanning tree anymore because there's a cycle in there and there shouldn't be any cycles in a spanning tree. So I should not use that line. All right, the reason I shouldn't use that line is because B and C are already connected using this root here and we don't want any cycles in our spanning tree. All right, so I can't use that eight. Well, what about this eight? Oh, I can't use that eight either because there's a cycle. So if, an, if adding an edge creates a cycle in any time, at any time, you cannot add it in. What about 9? Uh, I saw a 9 here. I saw a 9 here. Okay, D to B. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No, that's going to create a cycle as well. So I shouldn't use that 9. Okay, uh, what about this 9? Does that create a cycle? No, it doesn't create a cycle. And not only does it not create a cycle, but it completes my spanning tree. All of my vertices are connected. One. How many vertices did I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, how many edges do I now have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Everything's connected. I have one less uh, edge than vertices. So this is a spanning tree. It's a great spanning tree. Not only is it a great spanning tree, it is a great minimum spanning tree. I wonder what the total weight of this spanning tree is. Okay, I get a total weight of 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 5 plus 9, 39. 
Uh, I'm going to do one more example of Kruskal's algorithm, and I'm going to write down my steps here, and then we're going to do it. So here's my new uh, graph, and I'm going to come up with the minimum spanning tree for that graph. Here are my Kruskal's steps. So the first step is to draw in the vertices, so I'm going to do that. Okay, next up, I'm going to draw in the lowest edge. So uh, there's a 2 there, and there's a 2 there. Um, doesn't matter which one I choose. 2. Uh, I'm going to check for cycles. Obviously, there's one edge, so there's no cycles. Uh, next up, draw in the lowest edge. So just keep repeating step 2 and 3 until we're finished. Uh, F to E, that's a 2. Okay, check for cycles. Obviously not. Um, okay, 3. There's a 3 between C and D. Check for cycles. No, I've got this really nice, like, uh, three disconnected graphs at the moment. Okay, what about, there's no fours, there's a five here between A and D. Okay, um, now, check for cycles. No, no cycles. All right, we're okay. What about, oh, okay, there's a six here, a six here, and a six here. So let's consider them. A to F. That looks like it's going to be okay. All right, let's just consider the other two for a second. B to D. Okay, B to D is a 6. Well, that would create a cycle. And so that's a not good one. Uh, D to E. No cycle. That would be a good one. So in this particular question, we can draw in this one. And we get a minimum spanning tree. Everything's connected, no cycles. Or if we wanted to, we don't have to draw in that one. We could draw in this one. So here we have two minimum spanning trees for the same network. And it's all done using Kruskal's algorithm.